Hello. How are you today? Practice makes perfect. Perfect? No. Practice makes perfect. Why that? Because in English you do not have the S for the adjective. Okay, having said that, practice makes perfect. Why do I say that practice makes perfect? Because, because we are gonna practice today the past of regular verbs. In English, the past simple and the present perfect are the same in regular verbs. The problem is that many, many people study English reading books. They, they don't know the real pronunciation. A e d can be pronounced can be pronounced in three different ways. The T or ad. The way it is pronounced is according to the ending of the word, to the pronounced, to the last pronounced sound of the word. Briefly, in English, like in every language, a sound can be voiced or unvoiced. Voiced sound are those sounds where you vibrate your vocal cords. Unvoiced sound are those sounds where you do not vibrate your vocal cords. If a sound can be kept for a long time, you can tell the difference very easily. Obviously, the second sound of the two is the voiced. So, s is unvoiced, z is voiced, th is unvoiced, the is voiced. For explosive sounds, those who we cannot prolong, we cannot keep long, it's a little more difficult to tell the difference just putting your fingers or your hands here. So I'll tell you briefly that k, p, t, s, sh, ch, f, th are unvoiced. But the, this is ki kind of difficult if you don't practice them. Second problem, even if it is unvoiced, T or th, being dental sounds, that means that these sounds are produced near the teeth. Adding a t, a d to another t or th or th or th is very difficult to pronounce t d. So we put a in the middle. This is why. But now we have to practice and to absorb and to develop the reflexes to produce that immediately. First thing is let's hear work. K worked. Walk. K walked. P stop. Stopped. Rip. Ripped. Strip, stripped. Right? S, pass or pass in American English. Past or past. Miss, missed or missed. Kiss, kissed. When I say miss, missed. Okay, always missed. Um, sh, washed. Washed. J. Lounge. Lounge about. Lounged. 
This is voiced. Ch is unvoiced. Reach. Reached. The voiced of the ch is j. Lounged. The voiced of a k is g. Long. Longed. The voice sound of um, s is z. Closed. Okay. Sh. Uh, the voice of a sh is j. Uh, I can't find a, a verb ending with a j. Uh, um, then we have um, comb, nasal, combed. Con, combed. All nasal sounds have d. Love, loved. So, for the, to memorize p, t, k, s, sh, ch, f, th are unvoiced. P, t, k, s, sh, ch, f, th. P, t, k, s, sh, ch, f, th. Um, I invented for only for Italian speakers. P, t, k, sushi, ciao, fa, the. Pataka, pataka, sush, sushi, ciao, fa, fe. Pataka, sush, ch, f, f, unvoiced. All the rest are voiced. Play, played. Stay, stayed. These are all the rest. Dental sounds like t, d, th, the, want, ed. Just to avoid. A t and a d after the other, so we naturally develop a, a. Last, lasted, want, wanted, add, added, bathe, bathed. Most of English words, most common, the most common uh, verbs in English are irregular. So you need to practice also irregular verbs. There are several ways to memorize regular verbs. I do not recommend just reading and reading and reading a list of verbs. It's boring, it's not effective. If you read, if you have to memorize irregular verbs, try uh, to find at the beginning short lists. If you, that means you have to memorize 20, memorize the, the first 20. Okay, and then widen the range to uh, irregular verbs, a little bit less common. Uh, try to memorize them in context, in sentences. Not I thought, uh, I thought you were right. I thought you had the time. Okay, I thought, I've never thought that before in a context. So you also practice when to use the past simple and when to use the present perfect. Remember, remember, do not learn by heart lists if you don't know how to pronounce. So either you know the IPA thing that I strongly recommend, you can watch other videos where I teach the IPA, the International Phonetical Alphabet, where there are symbols, so you immediately know how to pronounce a verb, or you need to listen to the way they are pronounced through the internet or asking a native speaker. Uh, keep in mind that even in regular verbs you can have difference between American and British English. Um, so you can have learned in American English and learned in, uh, in British English. Uh, you can have I spit the past in American English. Sometimes people say spit. Not everybody, but some people say I spit, while in English is I spat. The past was spit. Spit means poo. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. So I think that 
we need more practice. So, for the time being, watch this over and over again. It means many, many, many times until you are familiar with the rule and it's quite easy for you to produce uh, a, um, a past simple or a um, past participle if you think about it. The second step is not to think about it, to have a reflex. And in order to get reflex, you have to practice a lot. So uh, we will practice this in videos to come. So we'll get two birds with a stone, we will practice the past simple, we will see when to use it, and we'll use different verbs. So we, you will be able to pronounce the ED the right way. You will know where, when to use the past simple, and you will use different verbs. That's good, 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 good practice. And at the end of the day, there's not real difference in the way I approach language between practice and grammar. Everything is together. Bye, bye, or bye, 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 bye. You should say bye, 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 bye.